Aftara va yetze. Chapter 12 Yaakov fled to the land of Aram, the Israel slave to win a wife. For a wife he tend a sheep. By a prophet Adonai brought Israel up from Egypt, and by a prophet he was protected. Ephraim has given bitter provocation, so the penalty for his bloodshed will be thrown down on him, and his Lord will repay him for his insult. Chapter 13 When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was a power in Israel, but when he incurred guilt through Baal, he died. So now they keep adding sin to sin, casting images from their silver, idols they invent for themselves, all of them the work of craftsmen. Sacrifice to them, they say. Men give kisses to calves. Therefore they will be like a morning cloud, like the dew that disappears early, like chaff blown by wind from the threshing floor, or like smoke that goes out the window. Still, I am Adonai your God, from the land of Egypt, and you don't know any God but me, or other than me, any Savior. I knew you in the desert, in the land of terrible drought. When they were fed, they were satisfied. When satisfied, they became proud. Therefore, they forgot me. So now I have become like a lion to them. Like a leopard, I will lurk by the road. I will meet them like a bear, whose cubs have been taken away. I will tear their hearts from their bodies. I will devour them there, like a lion, like a wild animal ripping them up. It is your destruction, Israel, although your help is in me. So now, where is your king to save you in all your cities? Where are your judges, of whom you said, Give me a king and leaders? I gave you a king in my anger, and in my fury I took him away. Ephraim's guilt had been wrapped up. His sin is stored away. The pain of being born will come to him, but he is an unwise son. The time has come, and he shouldn't delay. There at the mouth of the womb, should I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Should I redeem them from death? Where are your plagues, death? Where is your destruction, Sheol? My eyes are close to compassion, for though he flourishes among the reeds, an east wind will come, a wind from Adonai blowing up from the desert. Then his water source will dry up, then his spring will fail. It will plunder his treasury, removing every precious thing. Chapter 14 Shomron will bear her guilt, for she has rebelled against her God. They will fail by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. Return, Israel, to Adonai your God. For your guilt has made you stumble. Take words with you and return to Adonai. Say to him, Forgive all guilt and accept what is good. We will pay instead of bulls the offerings of our lips. Ashur will not save us. We will not ride on horses. And we will no longer call what we made with our hands our gods. For it is only in you that the fatherless can find mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from him. I will be like dew to Israel. He will blossom like a lily and strike roots like the Lebanon. His branches will spread out, his beauty be like an olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon. Again, they will live in his shade and raise grain. They will blossom like a vine, and its aroma will be like the wine of the Lebanon. Ephraim will say, what have I to do any more with idols? And I, I answer and inform him, I am like a fresh green cypress tree. Your fruitfulness comes from me. Let the wise understand these things, and let the discerning know them, for the ways of Adonai are straight, and the righteous walk in them. But in them sinners stumble. <laughs>